What's going on everybody? My name is Long Tide and today we're back with another ramble. Not a morning ramble, I know that's new. We're definitely well in the night right now. Uh, sitting in our living room, uh, me and my girlfriends, and you know, I just thought I'd have to make a ramble. You know, we got some insane updates coming. Um, and really, I'm very excited for them. Uh, and this is just going to be a chill ramble. I'm going to be missing some names and blah, 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 blah. But um, go ahead and pull up your rune light. Hit the mother load mine. I, I know y'all need to get the mining levels up. And uh, <laughs> let's get into it. So uh, we got Nex coming to RuneScape. Now, let me tell you, Nex is one boss that I completely forgot about. I didn't think that was ever going to be mentioned in old school RuneScape. Um, it blew my mind when it was even brought up, and it was brought up randomly. I don't think they didn't pull it or anything like that. I don't think. Um, and so I was like kind of shocked whenever they said they were going to release it. But hey, it's content. I'm not going to complain about it. Um, the armor sets really cool, and here's my opinion on them. So uh, we got Virtus armor coming into RuneScape. Uh, it's basically the mage armor uh, from Nex. If you don't know what Nex is in, in RuneScape three, it's like uh, it's a cool boss that drops like. Uh, what I think was best in slot mage, best in slot range, and best in slot mage. Um, they're just going to bring the mage armor into it because that would be way too much power creep. Um, and not even power creep, it would just be way too much armor bringing into the game at once. Um, but Virtus armor is really cool. Here's how I look at it. So if you've done the comparison, it's basically right there with Ancestral. Um, the only difference is when you have the Virtus armor all on, it gives you a set bonus for the ancient spell book. Now, um, a lot of people are sitting there like, why? Like, it makes no sense. Uh, it might be cool for PKing, PvP, uh, but also what I'm thinking is it might be a, a, you know, a sly way. They're kind of just, um, you know, sliding in a cosmetic, and here's why. So right now when you, when you do chambers, for example, you have people wearing Ancestral. Um, they might bring a Trident or a Sanguinesti staff, um, or they have, like, Arams and a... Uh, no, not Arams. Is it Arams? Yeah, Arams and like a Trident, you know, and something like that. Um, but now, you could actually potentially bring Virtus into the mix and use Ancient Spells on, let's say, Olam's Hand, right? And that might actually be better um, than, you know, Ancestral or something like that. Uh, or use Blood Spells on it and it'll heal you. I mean, the possibilities are endless, right? Um, and it's just a cool way to be, you know, different in the current content um so i think that's cool now why why did they not bring in you know best in slot mage uh why did they not introduce power creep um i i could dive into it put on my tinfoil hat and really dive into it but just to say the least um i do feel like runescape is a game that takes well i don't feel like i know it uh, it takes a lot of time for um everything and um, so with that um it's uh it's hard to introduce power creep because you don't want to do it too fast in a game like runescape now world of warcraft is different because um you're, you're releasing expansions every two years and it's kind of like set in stone at this point uh when they're gonna make an update um so that's a little different but runescape you got people that want to raid and then go skill for you know take take a break from raiding and go skill for months and then work on their maxing and everything, which I'm doing it right now. And I'm telling you, yeah, I want to, <laughs> I want to burn my computer to the ground because I hate motherload mining, and I know I'm not about to do three tick granite. I, I know it, um, but you know, some people they, they they take it at their own pace and they, they really want to take their time with RuneScape because RuneScape is not all about in-game content. It is, you know, it's a fun social game. Um, I remember back in the day people comparing it to Habo Hotel. I don't know if you know what that is, but um, it's basically like it was an old social game where you like, you know, um, invented things to make money and stuff like that. And then it, it died. And I guess a lot of people came to RuneScape because of it. But um, anyways, yeah, it's it's a social game with some in-game stuff that a lot of people like to do. And since it's an MMORPG, we are just, you know, kind of, kind of assuming here that in-game content, you know, that's the goal, right? But it's not. You know, there's a lot of goals in RuneScape, and they take a lot of time. So power creep, you can't have too much of it. Um, but what I think they're going to do, they're going to release Raids 3 and Next. Two pieces of content. It's going to keep people quiet for a little bit um, and definitely, you know, create some amazing memories and, and have, you know, lots of fun uh, for the community. Uh, but then 
come about maybe four years down the line. Because Chambers of Zurich is actually, uh, it's been around since 2017, I believe. A couple years old. Um, and so, you know, a couple years down the line, I think they're going to release another raid or some piece of content that is going to bring those best of slots we're looking for. Those pieces of armor were like, whoa, you know, level 95 or something like that. Um, not just, you know, niche pieces, um, you know, set bonuses and all that mess. Um, th that's just my opinion. You know, obviously I don't have too much uh, backing that, but that is what I believe. Um, because it, it just, you know, with the community and everything, you know, a lot of people feel like they, um, you, you don't want the casuals to feel like they're rushed. Um, if we start making RuneScape, RuneScape feel like um, there has to be something that we have to do, um, or, because like, sorry. Um, <laughs> so, you know, let's say like, for example, casual doing Slayer, right? Slayer's pretty easy. You just barrage stuff, kill stuff, blah, blah, blah. Unless you're bossing, some bosses are hard. Um, you just, you kind of just chill and get XP. Um, there's not much, I mean, there's a difference in XP and damage per second with someone doing it in Arums versus Ancestral, but like, you know, people aren't going to feel like they're left out, right? If, if someone's just barraging in Ancestral versus Arums, that Arums person is just going to feel like they're just poor, um, or not even at all, really, and truthfully, they not, might not even bat an eye. But let's say you have someone, you know, barraging in Arums versus someone barraging in uh, Mega Turbo, uh, you know, <laughs> blast off mage armor or something, you know, just going bow, 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 just one shot and everything and just, you know, just going insane. And, and the only way you can do it is if you do the hardest content in the game. That person with Arums is just going to feel like, wow, like, I don't like this game. It's too hardcore for me. Let me go play Fortnite or something. And, and, and that's just, a, you know, that's just an example. Um, you, you don't want to leave the casual uh, community out of things. Uh, right now we have uh, Chambers of Zarek and uh, Theater of Blood. Uh, Chambers of Zarek is a very casual raid. It's meant for people, you can die in Chambers of Zarek and still get a Tebow. It's meant for you to, you know, have fun. You know, people get drunk and do um, cocks all night, get Tebows, Kodais, all this stuff. Uh, you, you get drunk and you die in Tob, it's kind of, you know, you kind of just get, you know, bored after a little bit. You get kind of mad at yourself, if anything. Uh, if, especially if your whole team dies at Nilo, you know, you kind of get upset because it's like, dang, I'm not going to get literally anything from this event that we're doing. Um, so there's hardcore and there's casual, and that's a good balance. Um, now, Rage 3, they're going to introduce um, kind of like level scaling. So it's like casual plus hardcore. If you want to make it hard, you can make it hard. If you don't want to make it hard, you don't have to make it hard. And I love that because it's keeping the casual community in mind. And that's what you have to do in this game. Um, World of Warcraft, like I said, doesn't need to do that. RuneScape needs to do that. And so that's why we're seeing the set bonuses um, versus, you know, just releasing the best armor in the world and rates three uh, for the longevity of the game it's a great move and i love it um and it's cool too like i said virtus and, and chambers of zurich you already know i'm gonna buy it and you go try it out you know what i mean uh when it comes out and stuff um so you know just my opinion uh you know just something i you know i, I was sitting here thinking about it. i had to make a video on it um and i you know i'm very glad i did and hopefully more videos coming, guys, guys, gals, they and them. I know I've been slacking on it. It's just, yeah, and when you're working sales 10 hours a day and you're talking to a bunch of people, um, it is a mess. I, I've just got off a 10-hour shift, and I'm sitting here just like um, already brain fogging. So <laughs> that's why this video, we're going to cut it a little short. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, they and them, it's been a pleasure uh, being on your computer screens here tonight. I do hope y'all have a amazing rest of your, uh, uh, I don't even know what day it is, Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. And uh, keep grinding and uh, more importantly, be safe out there. Uh, see you in the next one. Take care.